Hey guys, Oko here, and welcome back to our playthrough of The Legend of Zelda. So, I've been trying to think of some different things that we can do. We still need to do more exploring, and we need to make more money so we can buy more equipment. Still not ready to move on to the dungeons yet. There's a dragon up there. Way up there. So, we've explored the Zora region, and we have... Explored this area a little bit, just a little bit. But I'm using some prior knowledge from the last game. There was a very important area way up here. This tech lab, Akala Ancient Tech Lab. I want to head to that. And this is the closest shrine to there. So I thought that would be a good goal for today to make our way towards this tech lab and see if anything is happening there that might benefit us because it certainly did in the first game. We got an amazing... We got, I think, several amazing upgrades from that place. I also remember it was a little tricky to get to. Horses. What else do I have to work with? Let's maybe use this pole for a while. I see a shrine, so I guess we'll head towards there as well as the stable. And we'll investigate the area a little bit. I kind of vaguely remember this. Terrain from the first game. It's been a long time since I played that one. It's always goodies off the beaten path. What's going on up here, huh? Silent shroom. Thank you. What do we got? This is a cute little forested area. I just want to look around here a little bit. What's this? Gotcha. Take that. Alright, here's our bird friend again. I wonder if he has a new mission for us. No. Great stories here. And beetles here. East Akala Stable. Here's someone new. It's only a matter of time. Just how long are they going to stay there? And they may have spotted us spying on them from the cliff. What should I do if they come all the way up here? Hmm? Mm? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you there. Mm. I've been preoccupied with the monsters that have settled on North Akala Beach below the cliff. Thinking about what would happen if they came up to the stable has me worried. I can't even focus on my work. Uh. I've been trying to find someone to go drive them off, but everyone I've asked has refused to help. 
It seems that kind of skill and confidence is in short supply. Anyway, do you see the big tree over there? If you look down over the cliff from there, you can probably see the monsters. It's an intimidating sight, to be sure. Everyone keeps saying not to worry, that they won't come all the way to the stable, but I'm not so sure. I don't think I'll really be able to relax until those monsters are gone for good. Mm, she wants some monsters disposed of, huh? Probably do that. Nothing else in there. Wooden shield. Used to call us to another well. There's somebody down here. This well. Water quality good. Moss growth. Limited. Bright caps. Present. All right. That's everything. All jotted down. Huh? What are you doing in a place like this? Although, I'm in a place like this. Hey, you wouldn't happen to be a well enthusiast, would you? Of course! I thought so. My name's Farah. I have a deep love of wells, too. Wells are endlessly fascinating. Their damp environment, their unique systems of life, how they stay cool when it's hot outside. Well enthusiasts just get it. The appeal of a good well, that is. My dream is to travel around to every single well throughout Hyrule. After scouring all the ancient texts I could find on the subject, I've learned that there are 58 wells. Sadly, I haven't been able to identify their exact locations. But if you have an interest in wells, then maybe you could help me. Would you tell me any well locations you know of? I'll reward you, of course. Hmm? How does 10 rupees per location sound? You got a deal. Really? That's fascinating. All right, then. Tell me everything. Thanks. So five of them this time. I'll give you 10 rupees per location. That's 50 rupees total. All yours. Thanks for sharing. I'm excited to go visit all of these wells. Let's see. How many left across Hyrule? Oh, there's still a total of 53 oh. to find. You can find wells all over the place in towns and stables, of course. But even more wells, those used in the distant past, exist within ruins. Just imagine. They were a crucial part of life all that time ago. Isn't that simply fascinating? Oh, I'm going to look out landing next. There's a well there I want to see. So if you learn more well locations, meet me there. See you around. And she's gone. So I guess we'll run into her again somewhere. Aha, good. I want these fairies. Oh, I would lost one. See, the, the, the trick is you got to approach very slowly to them. But they're very useful. Walk very slowly. There we go. Yeah, and those can be used to make powerful potions. We could have got another one if we would have came in a little slower. And here's one of these, huh? Let's pray. I think we have enough to get a, a those um, blessings to get a couple. Yeah, we have enough to get two. So let's do two more heart containers. Reward ourselves for the last few episodes of working so hard. Let's get a little stronger.
So I believe that's nine. So there we are, and that's not bad. We're up to nine heart pieces. Heart containers, I should say. Mm hmm So now we will leave here. I need to reach my friend. Strongest in the world. Hmm, that's an unusual weapon you have there. Where did you get it? I made it. No kidding. I make weapons too. I've been using all sorts of materials, trying to make the strongest weapon in the world. Tell me something. You ever heard of the monster they call a Lionel? It's a huge beast with a body like a horse. You wouldn't believe how many times I've seen someone try to ride on a Lionel's back, only to go flying. I actually spotted one of their kind in northwest of here, near the entrance to Tempest Gulch. But I wasn't about to pick a fight with a monster like that, strong, agile, and did I mention they can shoot fireballs? The best I could do was turn tail before it caught sight of me. If I could only get a hold of that Lionel's horn, I'm sure I could make the strongest weapon in the world. But I'm no fool. I know I haven't got the skill to take down a Lionel. Hmph. <laughs> I just wish someone else would make the weapon of my dreams and show it to me. I'd give them a nice reward. Well, I'm sure we will inevitably come across a Lionel Horn. And when we do, we'll bring it to her. Here's another Korok. These ones usually want you to bring them to their friend. I don't feel like dealing with him right now. This sign is already... Well, I guess we will head to the shrine next. Where to next? Oh, hello there. Are you out on an adventure too? I'm not just on a journey across the land, but a journey through time. I'm trying to get my eyes on all the old stuff I can. I wanted to see if they had anything like that at the Akala Ancient Tech Lab. But it seems like some weirdos took the place over, so I'm pretty much at a standstill here. So, do you like ancient things? Ancient things? <laughs> You know, ancient things. Things that are ancient. Oh, just one look at them, and it's like I've been transported through time. That's the thrill I'm looking for. But what should I go see next? Oh, I've got it. Did you hear that they found fossils of giant leviathans? That once lived in this land? It's true! How many, you ask? Not one, not two, but three giant fossils! Just waiting for me to say hello! But which to meet first? Maybe I'll go introduce myself to the Itty Bitty Leviathan in Elden to start. Here, let me see your map for a second. He should be right around here. Oh, I can only imagine what he looks like. How beautiful he must be. Why don't you pay him a visit as well? I'm sure it will set your heart all aflutter. I'm too keyed up to stand around here. Time to go make my dreams a reality. Well, when we explore that area, we will look for that. Now, this looks like something not good. Hanging out around here. Whoops. <laughs> mm, yeah, 
so in the last game, I believe that's where Pura hung out in this tech lab up ahead here. Uh, she was young then, though. She was just like a young girl. Hmm. And we also got an upgrade to our pad. I think they also made like alterations to like the bombs. Didn't they? Didn't they isn't that when they like let you use like square bombs or something like that? And they also added that tuner thing where it would like let you know when you're close to a shrine or something like that. Well, this is not quite what I remember it looking like at all. Not even close. It was a great big building before, but let's go in now and see. Sure. What is it? Wait, you! Sure. It's Link. Get ready for battle. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> This guy's almost gone. Yeah, not doing very good here. Yeah, well, we're dead. Yeah, that was tough. Hmm. You know what? I just realized that we went past the shrine. <laughs> Which is bizarre. Wow, how do we do that? I wasn't paying attention. I guess I got distracted. We were supposed to be heading to the shrine instead of coming here. Well, I don't know if I want to do this fight. This could be too hard. Hmm. I forget what those guys are called. There's like a bunch of them in the southern part. In the desert. In the Garuda area, I think. They have like a whole hideout. Oh boy, I don't want to fight these guys. <laughs> I'm just not in the mood for that. I wanted to explore and have fun. Battles are stressful for me. Hmm. Well. Ah, darn it. I'm going to go to the shrine. Because I don't really feel like doing this battle right now. We'll come back and fight these guys again later. Jochi Iu Shrine. Let's check it out. Hell, <laughs> there's a bear right there. Jeez. We were probably going to be toast. Not this time. Courage to pluck. There's a chest up there. ball to put in here. And that's the end. So it's all about getting that ball, and there it is right there. It's 
too far, of course. Hmm. Uh, so, where's the battery then? Uh, oh, look at that. There's a chest there. How do we get up there? <laughs> I see. So, we can't touch that at all for some reason. Where is the battery? Where is the battery? What is this? What do I do here? That's not it. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh wow, what? are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to be doing here? I am speechless. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, we almost had it there. Hmm. I don't understand this. Almost had it. I'm going to try that again. Ugh. I didn't see that pit there. There we go. So we got this. So if that's the end, then what's this then? But what is this stuff? Oops. 
Darn it. Let's take these two. Aha! Oh, maybe that's how we're supposed to do it then. I don't know. Oh, it's gone. <laughs> now it's gone. I guess we ru ruined it forever, I guess. That kind of sucks. Hmm. All right. Oh, well. I guess we'll never know. It's in there. What about this one over here, though? How do we get this? Oh, maybe I got to use these as blocks. Like steps. Another bow. What do we want to get rid of? Let's get rid of this one, I guess. So I kind of, this one's kind of ugly. I'm gonna get rid of this one, actually. Yeah. So I don't know. I guess we're never gonna know what's in this one unless I just don't care. It's not worth it. It's just I don't know why it's not there anymore. That will forever remain a mystery on this channel. What was in that chest? It's just the way it is. Well, where do we want to go now? Hmm. I don't know. I, oh, I know there was one thing I wanted to do. Uh, yeah, in the sky. Room Awakening. I want to go to this one again. There was something I wanted to check here.
So I talked about doing this, but then I didn't actually do it. But I just want to see what is here. And we failed. Oh, that wasn't very nice. Oh, I wonder why that didn't work. Huh. Okay. I guess you can't get up there then. You can't make that jump. Oh, I know what we do. We have to go... We have to arise first. Ugh. Make this so complicated. There we are. There, now we'll do this. Here we are. So we've made it over to this side. And there is something here. I should have known all along. Let's see where it goes. Oh ho! Another shrine down here. Amazing. Oh, this is the one we've already been to. Interesting. Is it? Yes, I, uh, I, oh, wow. I approached this shrine from a different angle. Wow, I didn't even see this pathway before. Huh. This is a crystal refinery. Not gonna worry about that right now. I do have I think I do have crystal charges, but Hmm. So that didn't really lead to any treasure though, which is what I was hoping for. Well, that's all I wanted to look for through that. I wonder why I have this pin here. Well, since we're over this area... <laughs> maybe I'll just go to a new area. I don't really know what I'll do. I just don't feel like fighting those guys at the Akala <laughs> Tower right now. They're probably not that hard. I just need to... I just needed to try a few more times, I think. I probably would have had it, but... I just wanted to unwind right now and do a little exploring. Because I just got home from work, so... We'll get back to those guys. I'll, maybe I'll try and end the episode with fighting those guys, but for now... We're back in the little Skyland. I'll leave that bird. I don't feel like killing the bird. So, this is probably a good spot. Let's take a little look down at where we are. We're actually up here in Sky, but... I was really hoping we'd be able to see... Aha! Yes, we do. I'm going to head towards... The... <laughs> tower.
Mm. I was heading towards the wrong one, I just kind of realized, but that's okay. We didn't really use any stamina, so it doesn't really matter. I think this is the tower. What's this? Forgot it. There's a tower. And then there's another shrine that we can visit. But shrine... The towers are good. We want those map parts, so let's just... Popla Foothills, Skyview Tower. Uh oh. What's going on? Doesn't have power. Who's responsible for this, huh? said that. Ooh, what's this? Oh, a lamp. Aha. Whoa. You, what are you doing in a place like this? No, no, it doesn't matter. Could you just help me? What's wrong? I set off a trap in the ruins, and now I'm stuck. Oh, what a mess. Can you see a switch? If you press that, you should be able to get me out of this. There's a cave entrance over there. I got in that way. I'm begging you, mister. I'll just be waiting here, trusting you. Hmm... How are we going to get over there? There's no other way to go here, huh? Or is there? Oh, there's a chest! Darn it! Knight's Claymore. Cool. A rusty one. Now, where are we going? Where do we go? How do I get out of here? Um. Oh, we, uh, we use a rise, obviously. Now, he said there was a cave entrance around here somewhere. So let's look for that. A cave entrance. see any caves, do you? <laughs> Maybe it's over here. Is it raining? No. Looking for a cave, looking for a cave. I 
I wonder if that tower would some like it looked like it sort of had some power. Maybe I need to wait for a lightning, a thunder night, a night with lightning. Just an idea. Uh oh. Whoops! <laughs> that was a mistake. All right, well, we're toast. I gotta get out of here. I thought I saw a shrine around here somewhere. Where was it? Oh, there. I need to reach my friend, another Korok. Well, here's another shrine that we can enjoy. We're starting to see some of the tropical terrain that happens when you get further south, I see. I sort of remember that happening. Jayokalm Shrine. There's another guy holding a sh sign down there. Some smoke. Hmm... Let's just do this. Built for rails. We're gonna do more building. Hmm. So what do we gotta work with, huh? I don't see much. I think we're probably just gonna start with something very simple and we're gonna be... I think what we need to do... Let's put these together. Well, that was not quite what I wanted. Here, we're going to do this properly. There we go. Jump on. Yep, starting with an easy one here. That feels pretty good, though, I have to say. Alright. Wow, my god, look what we're in store for. <laughs> oh, wow. Hmm.
dear. Well, we lost our... We lost our one... We lost our one from the other place, it looks like. Hmm. Or is this... I don't know. <laughs> so it was a bit of a struggle, but we got it. I wanted to get this. Yep. We gotta get all the treasure we can. Hopefully it's not a weapon, but it probably will be. S sticky elixir. Slip resistance. Oh, interesting. That's good. That'll be great to have when we're, like, stuck somewhere and it's raining. Alright, now we need to create something for this. And I kind of have an idea of what we're going to do here. I think... What I need to do is create some attachments. I'm going to create some things that... So what if we do something kind of like this? <laughs> and something like maybe this. Well, we're not moving very fast, but we are moving. And it is somewhat stable. I think we're probably going to be good. We did pretty much... Yeah, that was really good, actually. We got those really close together. Wonderful. Okay, that was fun. Now... I wonder if I can just reuse that. These ones are going up, though, and there's fans. Yeah, well. I don't think we have anything to worry about here. I think we're just gonna, literally going to be able to reuse this. Oh, maybe not. I might not be able to reuse it, actually. Well, we'll see. Maybe. Maybe they want us to use this. Now, first of all, why is there two tracks, though? Why is there two tracks? What is going on here?
Ah, I can't. I can't quite see. <laughs> Let's try and get a better look. What is going on here? What? So at least we can go down here and, and and take a look. So. Oh. Huh. Hmm, so I see why it's two tracks. It's two tracks that lead into one. Let's go like that. And that, so that will kind of hold it in place. But then I'm worried about the, when it gets, once it gets to one track, then it's gonna be like moving back and forth. So what I would like to do is add another set So close. I thought I was being so clever there. Darn it, that was so close. Yeah, well now it's now it's all effed up. Oh darn it. Alright, that's too bad. I had the right idea, but I didn't have that cemented down. Oh, that's too bad. That was almost perfect. <laughs> I didn't have these two things. Oh, that's too bad. Darn. Well, I'm going to use this pedestal here as a guide. I'm going to assume that's the width of the middle rail. I'm 
to do something like... Let's do something like that. So there we are. That's my finished project. Well, no, it's not finished, actually. That's only a part of it. Oh, boy. Now, power. Yeah, I'm just going to add these three fans on the back, like you would imagine. All right, here we go, guys. Whoop. Let's see if this works. <laughs> this will be a miracle. <laughs> Come on. You can do it. <laughs> it worked. So far, so good. Unbelievable. Yeah, it should work now, I think. I think we're pretty safe. Wow, what an amazing, amazing little adventure in this shrine. Wow. That was awesome. There we go, another one done. Yeah, I still want to get this. Still want to get this tower. Let me see what's going on here with this place again. Did I look around enough? There's no people here, huh? That's kind of strange. So what is going on in here? Is there anything else? <laughs> do I have anything that can do lightning? No, I wish I did. What do I do? What do I do? Hell, yeah, we never did find that cave. Ah, oh, come on. Where's the cave?
Well, he did sort of tell us where the cave was, but I mean, we're underground. I couldn't really tell where he was pointing. <laughs> What's down here? Anything? Let's go back in the cave. It's gotta be... I don't know how to help you, my friend. I wish I did. Could you please help me? I'm in a hurry, so sorry. So, the cave entrance... Let's see if I can do this. <laughs> I know it seems ridiculous. That's basically just the shrine. Or the, the tower, I mean. So the cave entrance should be right over here. Oh, darn it. I need money. Darn, I was hoping I could... Oh! Ah, bummer. It's tough to make money in this game. So here's the entrance for that guy. Darn, I really wanted to get that creature so I could get... <laughs> Let me get these mushrooms first. Mushrooms, then rescue the guy. Thank you. I knew you'd rescue me. I don't have much, but please take this. Thank you. That is what lured me into the trap. I don't even want to look at it anymore. Do whatever you want with it. Wait, I don't have time for chat. I have urgent business at the tower. Is this going to trap me? Oh, it's opened! Oh, wait a minute. I guess the 50 rupees was in there. Mm hmm. Oh, what's this? Aha! Ooh, good! A topaz. Yes, we need those. Well, I don't know what... I don't think there's very much else we need to... to do around here. What is this little area? 
There's another well over here. An arrow. Let's check out this well. Is there any resources we can pilfer from here? Really hoping we'd have some minerals that we could. Okay, this is gonna break soon. Now yeah, there we go. An apple and an arrow. Uh, what do we have here? The road of a gourmand is fraught with thorns. It's why I chose to travel alone, but this life does have its share of lonely nights. That's when you need to shine a light to keep the darkness at bay. These newly discovered bright ingredients have the strange effect of making the body glow. I recently discovered that the intensity of the light changes depending on the materials you use. For instance, when I ate a dish cooked with a glowing cave fish, I produced more light than I did with a bright cap dish. I wonder if the effect is more powerful the harder the ingredient is to collect. Or could the quantity of each material play a part somehow? I clearly have more experimenting to do. There is no shame in not knowing, for beyond that lies the joy of knowing. Tonight, I am the candlelight. Well, if we're stuck in a dark place, maybe we'll eat some of those sometime. We've collected a lot of them. But what we really want to do is get up to the tower. So let's just head into this cave. And walk right up to the tower that's on the map. That looks close enough. And let's see if our tower is operating now. I bet you it will be. Hello again. Hello there, mister. Thanks again for saving me. I was only in the area in the first place to do maintenance on the tower. The terminal wasn't making anything happen due to the humidity, but I fixed it in a jiffy. Unfortunately, getting stuck caused all kinds of delays. I need to hurry to the next Skyview Tower. I probably caused trouble for my friends at the construction company, so I'm going to get moving as soon as I'm calmed down. Looks like there's a big storm here as well.
Well, do we see any other shrines we want to go to? I don't. No, I can't see any. Well, we gotta end the video soon. I guess what we're gonna do right now... Hold on. It looks like there's another zone up here. I'm going to... Probably head there soon. I'm just thinking maybe I should, uh... Shoot. So there's another tower that we can go to. But I think what I'm going to do to end this video is fight those guys back at the Akala Tower. Here's a, a shrine. Way over here. So maybe we'll head for that. The red one. Well, it looks like it's... Oh, there's, there's one over here as well. It's actually even closer. I'm going to head to this one. Might as well go to this one first. Whoops. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, and the... Oh! I tried to use my... Ah, water. Great. See if we can get Oh, that wasn't so bad. We should be able to climb this. Okay, that's not that's fine. I'm just gonna get to this uh shrine guys, and then we're just gonna have to call it quits for this episode. In the next episode what I'll try and probably do is um I think I'll yeah, try and kill those guys at the uh, Akala lab. But first I'm gonna get to some safety and just get to the Uh oh. The shrine that I lost. Where was it? Oh boy, I lost it. Is it over here? Oh my god. <laughs> Need to get higher so we can see. It's a Korok. We'll play with it for now. found me. There's another seed, yes. But where, oh where, oh where? Was that it?
Wait, what? What the hell happened? It doesn't look like a... It, that, that shrine doesn't look like it's in a very safe place. But we'll check it out, and hopefully I can save there, and that's... Where I'm going to sort of just sign off for now. There's a whiz robe. Stay away from the whiz robe. Alright, so that just about does it. So I'm going to record a little another video later, just finishing off this video at the Akala Lab. But we'll start episode 19 uh, here at this shrine, Kamazoon Shrine, alright? So, for right now, I'll meet you guys over at the Akala Lab in the upper right. Northeast, I should say. Right, Yiga clan is what they were called. That's where I forgot the name before. Get this blade. So we got one down. Maybe I should even equip that. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh! Oh my gosh! Darn it. He got me.
Well, there we go. We finally killed him. It took a, a few different strategies. But I did manage to kill both of them. Ah, boy, that was tough. That took a long time. I don't know how much of that I'm going to show. <laughs> but let's go in inside now. Oh, who do we have here? This is ridiculous. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I'll make your little uniform without any more complaints, I swear. Hold up. Hey, hey, Superstar, you're not with the uh, Yiga clan. Please tell me you're here to rescue me. That's, that's fantastic. Uh, I've been cooped up in here forever. The name's Konba. I've got a knack for style and the nimble digits I need to spin my ideas into reality. Alas, that pure talent is why the Yiga clan kidnapped me and forced me to make their outfits for them. If I ever sew one of those tacky rags again, it'll be too soon! In fact, you should take the Yiga armor I just finished. Burn it. Toss it. Do what you want. Just get it away from me. Alright, well we got the Yiga armor, which has a stealth up ability. The look may lack, but my tailoring is sublime. If you wore the whole set, you'd fit right in with the Yiga clan. On that note, I gotta hurry out of here before they get back. Don't worry, I'm more athletic than I look. They only caught me last time because I messed up. It won't happen again. See you around, and thanks for the save. Cool. We'll put that to use sometime. Let's see what's up here. Nothing. Read the Yiga Journal. We've now taken over the Shika Lab and filled out the map with the locations of our hideout and branches. The lab is located near a local stable. It's also not far from Terrytown, which was impacted by falling Zonai ruins and parts. Suffice it to say, I think both of these locations will be I think both of these locations will be suitable for procuring supplies and intel. Though we haven't yet received any word of Zelda, there have been many reported sightings of her swordsman Link. His days are numbered, though, as the Surface Division is setting up a network of their terrible banana traps. I'm embarrassed to say I've fallen for one myself. Tempting though it may be, try not to pick any bananas up off the road. Bananas are traps, huh? What do we have here? A travel medallion prototype. Robbie reverse engineered a travel medallion to make this prototypical version, but it's unusable in its current state because it's missing some important data. Hmm, well, we'll take that for safekeeping. Well, I guess that's about it, guys. I thought that there might be something else here. Oh, can we, is there anything up here? I don't know. No, I guess not. Oh, wait. We can get up here. Wow, I'd almost given up. We have over here a little secret little area. 
<laughs> Where's this actually going? I want to know. We're going to find out. It's actually going somewhere. This is amazing. Up, up, up. Higher and higher and higher. Can we go higher? We can go out here. What do we have here? We have a little turtle. This is probably a... Something to do with Korok or something like that. I don't know. Well, anyway, I think that's going to be basically it for now, then. I, that's going to be everything for this episode, I guess. Mm -hmm. But we managed to conquer over the Yiga and take back <laughs> take back the Akala Tech Lab, even though there really wasn't much there. There's that blade, yeah. Eight full blade. What can I get rid of? I guess I'll get rid of the one that's... Cool. Yeah, I'm sure these little uh, frogs with these uh, blindfolds on... I think... I don't know. I wonder if that means anything. That looks like a Yiga thing, though. That Yiga symbol. All right, well, in the next episode, we're going to be just uh, continuing on and opening up new areas, getting maps for different areas and exploring more of Hyrule. Here's a little map of the area, probably. It's cute. Yep, that's going to be everything for today's episode. So, thank you, everybody, for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking below. I'm Oko. I'll see you guys all on our next episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. Bye for now. There's the Yiga armor.